I'm currently building all seven of the wonders of the world in hardcore Minecraft. And we are in the middle of building the Taj Mahal. Last episode, we built a garden that sits at the Taj Mahal, which as we found out is an insane garden. Look at these custom trees. I was losing my mind placing these, but it's all done now and we get to move on to, I want to say the cool part. I do love this garden, but this is the cool part. We get to build the Taj Mahal. Now at the moment, this wheat farm is our Taj Mahal and it's not at all accurate. We can put it side by side. It's not really looking like it, but that'll all be fixed today. Now, the first thing I wanted to do was fix these sides because as we can see, we we have the garden but the pathways just kind of end here the terraforming is horrendous at the moment so i wanted to go around all the sides of the garden fixing up what's going to be here and it's going to be like a wall you guys will see it'll be pretty nice but i need a bunch of terracotta i need about 25 shulker boxes of terracotta for this one but lucky enough terracotta is not difficult to get so we're gonna head over to the mesa and get this get this going Okay, this should be enough. This is 20 shulker boxes. I think I said I was going to get more, but I think this is enough. I got some brown terracotta as well, because I'm going to be using that later. But now I need to get some bricks, and I don't believe there's an easy way of getting bricks other than villages, and it's kind of slow that way as well. Oh my god, I really just destroyed this biome. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mine out some rivers. It's really all we can do at this point. Get the clay from rivers and then smelt it into bricks, as I don't believe there's an easier way. So let's go. That is enough. That is perfect. Two shulker boxes of bricks. The next thing on the list to get is a bunch of andesite. Andesite? No. No, it's granite. It's granite. Next thing on the list to get is a bunch of granite. Lucky enough, I already have a little bit of a head start on this one, but I need about eight shulker boxes of this, and this is about one and a half. So let's get mining. Okay, this is enough. Now, the last thing on the list is four shulker boxes of acacia wood. So let's get the axe out and do this. Okay, as per usual, number one, deforestation. Number two, I calculated it wrong. I only need like one shulker box, I think, because one log gives four and yeah, I, th I think I only need one. So pretty much we have these walls going around the garden edges. I'll throw some photos up now so you guys know what I'm talking about. But they're these like kind of orangey brick terracotta walls that we're going to build going all the way down here. I'll do like one side, then I'll show you guys what I'm planning to do and then we'll do the rest. So yeah, I'm going to get started on the first side. Okay, this is pretty much it. I think it's accurate enough and it makes it feel a lot more closed together. I use gray glazed terracotta for this part. I think it looks nice. And then on the back, just a wall, nothing to worry about there. But in the middle here, there is a bit of a structure going on. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but photos on the screen, that's what I'm gonna put right here. It looks pretty nice though. There's one on each side. So once we get all the way to the other side, there's one over there as well. But yeah, I'm gonna build up one of those right here. And that's it. I think it looks pretty nice. Again, I don't actually know what this is for, but yeah, it, it looks pretty nice, I think. And now if we like walk through the garden on this part, it looks like complete. And I guess it is. So yeah, this side technically now is complete for the garden, at least. We're going to add more going that way and that way today. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the same thing, but on the other side, because as I said, the Taj Mahal is strict on its symmetrical rules. Everything has to be symmetrical. So this is going to look exactly the same, but over there. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Let's go. There we go, one on both sides. It looks really nice now, I think. Cause we're filling in the backdrop now. If you stand like here, it looks complete. And if you stand on the other side, it also looks complete. Like just walking through, it looks it looks good. Now what I'm going to do is we're gonna move on to the main attraction here. The Taj Mahal, as I've said many times, is gonna sit right on top of our wheat farm. And pretty much it's elevated a little bit. So it's gonna go up like there and then it'll be on top of that. So that's what I'm gonna build now. Except the floor of this is gonna be made using a glazed terracotta pattern. Why do I make things difficult for myself? I don't know, but it's gonna look fantastic. We're gonna use brown glazed terracotta for the top or the, or the floor. It's gonna make me go insane again, but I think it'll be worth it. So that's what I'm gonna work on now. We're gonna get this platform built up here, some stairs going up, maybe even connect the sides here. I'll do a bit of progress and we'll see how we're doing. Let's go. All 
right, that's the floor. And I know there's a huge hole in the center. But you guys can probably guess what's gonna go right there. So I feel like I don't need to put glazed terracotta in there if it's just gonna be covered anyway. I mean, it's not that the material is difficult to get. It's just that when you place it, you can get all these different patterns depending on how you're placing it. So I was pretty much doing 360 trying to get the right pattern. And that is the pattern that I like. It feels expensive when I'm working on this. Anyways, now what I'm going to do is get those corner pieces that I was talking about in. I missed a block. And then like a wall going up to here. There's another mosque here on each side. So that's going to go there. But I'm going to do the wall going here. We're going to add a railing going along here. And then obviously do the same on the other side. Add some steps here. And it'll tie together, I think. It'll connect to the garden a lot more. So let's do it. Okay, there it is. Added two more of these things on each side. And then this is going to continue until it hits the mosque. And it connects to the walls we did earlier. And then we have a railing going all the way around to the other side. Some staircases to get up to the Taj Mahal. And these actually are just ramps for accessibility, I guess. Which is factual. Pictures on the screen. And what's also factual is there is sinks here to like wash your hands or whatever. Just on the side here. So yeah, if you want to wash your hands, you can do that here. Anyways, now I think it is almost time for us to build the main attraction here. But first, I need a bunch of calcite to build this. I need about six and a half shulker boxes of calcite and then about two shulker boxes of smooth quartz. So those two together are going to be the most difficult to get. The rest are just little things here and there which won't be difficult. So yeah, I'm going to get these materials right now. All right, that took quite a bit, I'm not gonna lie, but we carry on. It's all here, and uh, it's time for the main event, guys. I mean, we've technically been building it the entire time, but we're gonna build the main structure now, and it's gonna look fantastic. So without any further delay, let's do this. <laughs> big reveal we could have had better weather but bam that's what it is is that not the best thing you've ever seen in your life now i do think it turned out really nice so we have this big platform here with these arches and then you go up the stairs here and you have the Taj Mahal. not the best view from here i won't lie but from most angles it looks it looks pretty good and then and then four towers each side now what i have to do is the interior because this is not looking good unfortunately due to scaling i can't fit everything that's in the interior in minecraft but but I'm gonna try my best to like get the key elements here or at least what I can see so let's do that Okay, that is the interior. I will admit, it is a lot smaller than it is in real life. But yeah, that's the interior and the end of the main building. I think this turned out really nice. But anyways, what's next to do is we're gonna start building these mosques on each side. And I guess we're just gonna go straight into this. I'm gonna start by doing the one on this side. And then this train's gonna look a lot better. Pretty much as the images on screen will show. This one's kind of an orangey brown color. Kind of blends in with the walls we got going on here already. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, uh, that is what I'm going to do right about now. There it is. That's the first mosque built. I think it looks really nice. I'm not gonna lie. But that's also due to the fact that I think it looks really nice in real life. So it's gonna look nice in Minecraft. But I think like the way it was translated was really nice. I guess I should also mention that I worked with Mickey on this build just as I did with the garden. We worked together again in the designs of this. And I think we did a really good job. We work very efficiently as a team. Just up the material list. Come on. Anything else? Let's put some dragon heads every once in a while. How about that? Let's build this out of netherite block and add to the material list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be such a fun like segmenting your video it's like all right now i want to build out a reinforced depot so let me <laughs> quickly make this uh it's the only block that'll match the palette we're going for so what i did i recreated the world on 1.7 but yeah, this is the first of the two mosques. It's got a little bit of an elevation, and then it goes there. Just like the main one over here, it's got a lot of depth and a lot of detail. It may not like, I don't know, I feel like it doesn't seem like it, but this took a while to build. But I think it's pretty nice. Nothing too much on the interior. But yeah, it goes all the way around to the end here, and then there's another tower here. And then on the back side, just more detail. But now what I have to do is grab this and put it over there. Because as we know, the Taj Mahal is symmetrical. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. This place on this side looks like a bit of a mess right now i just kind of left the space where i was gonna go so yeah it's time to build it so let's go okay 
way. There it is. It's the exact same thing on the other side. You could cut this right, right here in the middle and it's all the same. I mean, the trees are different, but it's all the same. Even the interiors and everything, it's, it's crazy. But yeah, another one here. It really ties things together. Now looking at this, it looks like it's pretty close to done, but we got one more side to go. This is gonna be like kind of the entrance. I gotta build what's called the great gate here. I'll throw some photos up. That's what it looks like. And it's gonna go right here at the entrance just to, just to finish this, to put an end to all this. So much building, so much building. But I'm just gonna start first by getting the walls here because the gate just takes up like from here to the other end there and then walls here. So I'm just gonna get the walls in first so then we can see what it looks like. I'll do it on both sides and yeah, we'll see what it looks like. Let's go. That's a lot better. It's like the walls are closing in now. We're really like putting the lid on this. I use stone for the floor here. There's a bit of like a depth thing here with the arches and then it's just a wall. So that's what's going on there. Another corner tower on this side and obviously on the other side because it's symmetrical. However, we kind of did a cheeky thing with the terrain here. This stuff is kind of improvised since there is a little bit more to the Taj Mahal. There's like an entrance to the entrance that goes on here, but this is not like actually what it looks like here. This is just something we made. And then that's just the wall because the terrain is so different from there to there now elevation but yeah as you can probably tell there's a huge gate missing here it's gonna be very tall and it's gonna sit right here and that is the last thing i need to do finally yeah let's do it and i am done does this not look so cool with the, all the depth and detail this took quite a while but yeah this is what it looks like there's stuff on the sides where you can come over here and enter and it is so pretty but yeah it's just it's just a little entrance gateway here you can go through the other side as well if you want to and then out just to the biome to the open world that's what it is it looks pretty nice and it closes everything in and that's the entire Taj Mahal done it is almost day 2000 already this this build has taken so long also can I just say this is a savannah does this feel like like a savannah to you guys because it does not to me i think i just kind of changed the entire feel now the last thing i need to do before we put this on with shaders because i know you guys want to see that i'm gonna clean up this absolute mess that i made of shulker boxes it's it's it looks like a mess but i know where everything is so yeah i'm gonna get rid of this real quick much better all right let's turn on shaders this is it i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna have to turn it down for the next next one day which is the last one and the next couple builds this this took it out of me i mean worth it obviously this is definitely the best thing i've built in minecraft of like ever i don't know if this is like a low scale for people but this i've never built something this cool at least i think it's cool that's all that matters but yeah i think this turned out really nice hopefully i represented the wonder well enough i mean for me the garden alone just sets it and that's what i was talking about that's what i was talking about right there how you can walk through the garden and kind of see the Taj Mahal as you're walking through that is so nice so nice but yeah i guess with that that is where i'm gonna end today's video if you guys did enjoy it remember to leave a like please leave a like let me know what you guys think of the build and i'll see you guys in my next one later.